Teofimo Lopez versus George Cambosos will finally be witnessed on Saturday the 27th of November. It's been a long time coming with a lot of BS, but it's finally here. Unfortunately, unless Tio was overlooking Cambosos, for me, watching film just confirmed a mismatch. But what the hell? Let's get straight to it and talk some X's and O's anyway. First off, Cambosos is a solid fighter with quick hands and decent pop. He has pretty good combinations and is also a pretty good counterpuncher. With that said, he also has some glaring issues. The first I'll talk about is his footwork, more specifically his tendency to cross step at range, especially when moving to his left. George will step his right foot to the left, leaving his feet crossed at range even with his opponent set. The cross step is potentially a balance issue, meaning you can easily be knocked off balance depending on your opponent's actions. It also clearly limits your ability to evade with all your weight on the back foot before you complete the full step by moving your front foot again. A right angle step from his opponent, then a quick move to close distance will put Cambosos in a vulnerable state. You also have the chance to easily be tripped, depending on where your opponent puts his lead leg when he attacks. Deontay Wilder showed us exactly why you shouldn't cross your feet in range. Camboso shouldn't be able to get away with in-range cross steps on the pound for pound level. Plus we have seen Tio burst inside with quick footwork and faster punches so we know he's capable of taking advantage of the bad habit. Cambosos likes to move forward on his opponents in a stance that sits between a slick counter puncher and a boxer puncher. Sometimes he even leans with his head slightly over his lead leg, putting more weight on that leg as if he wants to pull a counter, but unfortunately he seems to lack elite reflexes so it gets him caught. I think the stance is perfect for one of T.O.'s signature punches, the step left hook or the leaping left hook. Good patient round from both fighters. Mm. Cambosos rarely puts his lead hand up to defend. His backhand sits slightly forward to catch and parry jabs, but again, he lacks the elite reflexes needed to evade punches at this level with either hand down. The backhand isn't well trained to spring back and block the hook. He also tends to freeze on his opponent's level changes. Front foot pressure, lack of elite reflexes, Low lead hand and freezes on level changes all put together means he's going to get hit with solid overhands. Unfortunately for Cambosos, Tio has an excellent overhand right. Tio was also very good at timing and pattern recognition. We saw him read the raised lead hand tail and eventually time Nakatani's jab with outside slip two crosses. We also saw him read Comey's tail on the backhand, which was a jab, then quick pause, then right hand. Two. Oh, what a big shot by Lopez! Similar to Comey, Cambosos freezes on the level change and freezes when he steps in distance and wants to counter. George also has a tail on the cross step, which is a pre-slip left and raised lead glove. When I add it all together, I believe the elite athleticism, 
timing and punching power of Tio will most likely prove to be too much for a fighter with the experience and relative flaws of George Cambosos. If he's focused on the fight, I figure Tio knocks the rust off for the first three rounds and it's a mid-round knockout. Since it's such a short breakdown for this fight, I figured I'd combine put your money where your mouth is with the breakdown, so let me hit you with the disclaimer. Gamble at your own risk. This is not gambling advice. I'm not a professional gambler. I'm just a stranger online betting money on my own prediction. Absolutely anything can happen in boxing, so no bet is a sure thing. So I said T.O. knocks the rust off and gets a mid-round knockout. Looking at these numbers, I see odds makers are thinking T.O. by K.O., so there isn't much money for the overall K.O. or the group rounds. I'll take very small straight bets on T.O. by K.O. for rounds 4, 5, 6, and 7. I'm betting with my affiliate BetUS, who has a few promotions going on that allow you to bet with the house money. Links in the description. Let me know what you think of the breakdown or the fight, and let me know what your bets are in the comments section. Good luck, and thanks for watching. Unfortunately, some networks don't allow their footage to be reused for analysis on YouTube, so it gets blocked. So everything that they block, I put on Patreon, along with all my other content. Become a patron and don't miss a thing from Boxing Jumps.